let's say you want to shoot a short video by yourself and there's just you, your camera and your tripod. In this video I will show you how you can get a more vivid and cinematic look using fake camera movements in post. Let's start by creating a new project in Final Cut Pro X. Uh, let's call it fake camera movements. Pay attention that you set it to 1080. Let's import the clips I've shot earlier this day. They are all shot in 4K, so we've got enough pixels for the fake camera movements. The first thing I want to show you is the so-called pan effect, which means a movement from the left side to the right side. And Final Cut gives you a great tool to do this. It's called Can Burns, and you will find it here. The green window is the first keyframe and the red window is the last keyframe. So all you have to do is to drag and resize the frames how you want it. In this clip I will put the green window to the left side and the red window to the right side. So you get the camera movement from the right to the left, which will show you all the sparklers. Now let's do the zoom in effect. We also use can burns for this. All you have to do is to size the red window smaller than the green one so you get a zoom in effect. If you do it the other way, you get a zoom out. Now drag the red window to the position you want it and that's all. The last fake camera movement I want to show you is the rotation. The first thing you have to do is to switch to the end of the clip and select how much you want to rotate it. Now you can see some black areas and what you have to do is to scale it down until these areas disappear. Then you have to switch back to the first frame of the clip and add a keyframe at rotation. Set it to zero, switch back to the end of the clip and add the keyframe at 25 degrees. What you get is a perfect fluent camera rotation without any real camera movements. <laughs>